Hey guys, so if you've been using Forescan for a while now, you've probably come across this as-built format. Well, today I wanted to make a video to kind of explain what this as-built format is and kind of explain what you can do to it and what the advantages of the as-built data is compared to the normal uh, view in Forescan. And I kind of want to explain what the risks are, and I'm going to also go over how you can retrieve uh, the as-built data and how you can reflash it if you have made a mistake and your vehicle no longer starts. So, first of all, let's go over what is the as-built data. Well, if you're familiar with Forescan and you're familiar with the other view, you know that the other view is simply just a list of parameters and the various options of what you can change those parameter values to be. Well, the as-built format is the same thing, except for it's kind of in a non-human readable format. And the advantage to the as-built data format is that there is a lot more parameters. So, what exactly are we looking at? Well, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to give you guys a little explanation of what we're looking at. What we're looking at is known as the Motorola S-Record format. Now, the Motorola S-Record format is basically... Uh, just a format that is commonly used for programming flash memory in microcontrollers. Um, and what this format is, is it's just a basically memory address, the data at that memory, and the checksum. Now, in this case, if we go back to Forescan, you can see that this is the memory location, and this is the data, and this last value here is the checksum. So the memory location is simply the same as a parameter name. So all this is saying is that at location 7261101 there is a parameter and this parameter for instance let's say is the compass parameter and this here is the data and in many cases of these programmable calibrations, it's either enabled, disabled, or it's basically just a simple value. Well, what we also know is that this is easy to figure out in some cases, right? You have F as in maybe enabled or, you know, A as disabled. But how do you determine what this value, the checksum is? Well, if you guys aren't familiar with what a checksum is, a checksum is basically a, a way for a um, data transfer to determine its integrity. So what do I mean by that? Well, when you have these controllers and you change the memory and you flash it, you're basically sending it from one computer to another. So you're going on your personal computer, you're changing this memory, and then you're sending it to the control module on the vehicle. And what this checksum is used is basically to identify if that transfer of data was successful. So how it works is, is basically a checksum is just a mathematical formula. It takes the data, it takes these numbers, it puts it into a formula, and it spits out this number. And then it, so it takes the data and the number and it sends it to the controller. Now, when the controller gets the data, it basically takes the data again and it recalculates with the same formula and generates its own checksum. It basically takes the two checksums and compares them. If the values are the same, then it knows that the data transfer was successful and that it has good data. And it can take this data and place it into this memory location. If they're different, then it knows that something happened along the way. You know, either you, maybe you're, you got disconnected, maybe the data got corrupt, but it knows that if this number is not the same or is not what it is expecting, then the data is bad. So, why do you care? Well, you care because any time that you want to update one of these parameters, you're going to have to change the checksum. Now, Forescan is really nice in the sense that it will actually recalculate this number for you. Now, in some cases, it might not. But if it does not, there's actually third-party tools that you can look up to calculate this number. But that's a little outside the scope of this video. So I'm going to press forward 
and I want to explain to you kind of the risks of doing this. So the risks of playing with the as-built data is that you don't know what these memory locations are and you don't know what you're changing. Now, there are a few people that have basically come together and they have generated these lists of basically as-built data and descriptions. Well, these guys basically sat down and they said, hey, if I change this, this happens. If I change it to this, this happens, right? And they've basically mapped out what these different changes do. Now, this is useful because a lot of the times there's some stuff that you want to do. Uh, you want to change gear ratios? Well, maybe that's not a drop-down selection in Forescan's menu. So you're going to have to physically calculate it yourself. Well, these guys have gone through and done the trouble for you. They've identified where in the memory location you have to change, what values you have to change, and what it corresponds to. Now, this is really great, but if you, let's say, happen to be looking at this sheet and you have a 2012 truck, you might put the wrong value in here. Well, what's going to happen? Well, in this case, your data is going to be bad. Your controller is going to get a random value that might be outside the range that it's expecting, and it's going to cause an error or it's going to break the controller. If it breaks the controller, well, you're really out of luck, right? The controller is just dead. And if you change the value severely enough, well, some safety guards will come in and it's not going to let you uh, start your truck or do some, you know, do whatever to your vehicle. So one really important thing is to always, you know, either save this data or know where to get this data. So if you guys are familiar with Ford, you know that there is this website. It's motorcraft, motorcraftservice.com. All right, you can visit this website and there's a ton of free resources. There's manuals, there's data sheets, you know, there's quick guides, all sorts of stuff. And this is usually actually used within the service departments at Ford. Well, one thing that you can do is you can go to motorcraftservice.com slash as built data and you can actually enter the VIN of a vehicle any vehicle as long as you have the VIN and you can pull up all of its as-built data. Now this is cool for two reasons. One, if you are messing with your truck and you start changing values and then it doesn't start and you don't remember what you changed or what it was, you can simply come to this website and you can download the as-built data for all of your modules and you can actually come into Forescan and you can load these files in and you can recover the module and hopefully start your vehicle again. Now, the other cool thing that you can do with this is, is if you know the VIN of a different vehicle with a different uh, trim package or different options, you can actually do a comparison between the memory locations and the values to determine what will happen if you change it. Um, a good example of this is, you know, I did a while back an instrument cluster swap. And when I bought my instrument cluster, they gave me the VIN number and they gave me the trim level that the truck that it came out of. So I took my VIN and I took the VIN of the truck and I compared all of these as built data and I highlighted what the difference was. And I was able to figure out through trial and error of Forescan what changing these registers do. And I could map out how they calculated the VIN, and I could also map out some of the differences, like a King Ranch has a compass and a uh, XL doesn't. So I could actually figure out that, well, if I go to this memory location and I change this from a zero to a one, I can enable the compass. Um, so it's a really cool resource, guys. Um, and if you can really grasp how it works, you can do quite a bit with it. Um, you know, but just be careful. Um, a lot of things can happen when you're messing with this as built data um, and it can screw up a lot of things. But just remember, you know, you can always go back to factory data and hopefully that'll recover it. But that's just a quick introduction to the as built data. So, guys, as always, have fun and be careful.